bike held. If you want to you pop on, go right ahead. Just crawl, crawl. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah! That's right! You had an adventure! Hey, we got no place to sleep tonight. So here's your fucking mystery adventure, Sparkle. Let's go, yeah, Sparkle, Here's Sparkle. <laughs> this is what you fuckers wanted, this is what you get. Hey, hey, hey buddy, come here, come here. <laughs> Oh, he's going to go slow and steady, isn't he? You might want to close your uh, dry bag in case you do tip. I told him. Okay, I guess. He's like, fuck it, he said. He's just going to walk it through a bit. See, that's, I should have just went right through the middle. Uh, yeah. Really when I went to the side, it's just like that. This side's like You just like can't see it. Deep. You can't see it, yeah. Oh, I know. We'll see what happens. John! John! Are you going to do it? Okay. That's a no. Columbia Falls, Tails, Glacier Park. You all in favor? Columbia Falls. Columbia Falls, we go! Oh, well, good afternoon! So far it is. Good so, good. question. Answer. Any good places to camp for some random hikers? <laughs> I haven't been up here, up this road in a couple weeks. Um, you're just looking for a stealth campsite anywhere? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, are you trying to stay closer to town then? Um, I guess it doesn't really matter what we do. Okay. We're a four ways. From home in our last campsite, we can't use them all. No. Day two of our trip. Yeah, I saw you guys earlier this morning on Highway 2. You were in front of me coming across before you went into West Glacier. Oh. But, um, so, there are spots up here. The only reason I hesitate is I don't know who's in there right now with it being the 4th of July weekend. Correct. Right. Um, if it were me and you were willing to do a few more miles, I would go up to Cole Creek, take a left on Cole Creek, and there's a lot of spots in there. Okay. Um, but that's quite a bit farther. Okay, so we're out looking for a camping spot, and we just came across a sign for a na uh, national forest. McKenna. 
McGinnis, McGinnis Forest. Uh, we're going to go check out down this road and see if there's any campsites. Oh, this is, this is bad. Look at those potholes. So we could camp anywhere. We could literally find just a shady nook and call it good, really. Kind of a spot here. Looks like there's a fire. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no shade, but I think it is a spot. This is a long way for those guys. Yeah, it's not the end. It's uh, looks sketch to be honest. Yeah, that was a long nothing. That was a whole lot of nothing I thought I'd get a dead body. If we keep going down this road, this road just takes us in a big loop. Maybe, maybe we should go back to that road that, this, that, and then hopefully we get reception, and then we find a spot close to that. Fourth of July weekend. Yes. Hold on, I'll turn off my key here. Let's, let's, let's have a powwow here. We, we, we did answer the coin. The coin has brought us halfway here now. I bet you we have to flip a coin again because we either have right or left. Well, we won't go to another sleep. That's the problem. So let's go. Well, we this know is the adventure. This is the yeah. adventure. Yeah. We know what's that way. I don't care if we go to a fucking blacktop and just fucking go off into the weeds. Wow. Well. Okay. You gotta consider Chris's feelings. Just because it's you're you don't care about Scarface over there doesn't mean he doesn't care about his his beauty. I'm just worried about ground clearance because I don't want to go over a I agree. curb or something. And that's why we, we that's why we decided to turn around because it was like yeah, the all of us could, all of us sketchy. all of us can make it, but like I was like this is not worthy of Chris's bike. You guys don't have any locals. Okay, so there's a campsite right here. And I guess there's a spot open. Oh my god, there's my recorder. Oh, it's not ran over. I was just gonna say my second mission is that I went back to get this recorder right here. Because it fell out of my bag. And it's still recording. So I went back to find it and then this ranger stopped us and said there's a spot open at the campground we were just at. Holy crap, what an adventure. So I guess where Tony is right there is home sweet home. You'd be cold. Man, you really got in there. Get your nuts in. No. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. I'm gonna get my pants a little wet because they're already dirty as shit, so. <laughs> it kinda hurts. Hey, it's so cold. You got glacial water for me? Have you gotten used to it yet? Or does it not go away? Oh, it's not getting better. Oh. Oh. Dude. Oh. Oh. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. So that'll be the end of this YouTube video. We'll see you next time. Oh, peace. We sent two guys to go to this other campground, which is supposedly really nice. They went that way. We haven't heard from them in a minute. So we're hoping the no news is good news, but we don't know. So we refuse to set up camp until we know. So we're just kind of meandering. Okay, if they're hurt, we should probably find them. If they're taking this long and they're not hurt, they got a spot, so. I have to sh I mean. Well, we haven't heard like sirens or screams. Yeah. However, they have no reception, but you'd think they'd fly, flag someone down. What happened? So you got a spot though? Is that what they said? Oh, so we gotta go back that way? Found a waterfall. Okay, so change of plans. We were gonna go back to the campsite where we just were. We scoped out a spot and we were gonna stay there. But we decided we're gonna go this way to the West Glacier National Park and um, check out a lake. So we're gonna risk not having anywhere to stay. Check out this lake and just see what happens. Let the adventure continue. Yeah. Call the KOAs, call everywhere, find up, see if we can't find some place where we have, can speak to someone. Right. You know how, you know place. our only savior call would be such a shitty savior, and we really have to count it out. What if we backtrack? We don't want to backtrack, because that'd be the opposite direction from lower. Correct. But, but look, if we just go towards lower, like we're going to, there's this main town here. Oh. So we'll just head there, we'll, we'll fucking find some. Yeah. I'm not worried at all. I like how this I'll is all turning out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty big. Cool. Like it. I think, in a general sense, when you're in a situation where you're backed in the corner and you're just completely fucked, <laughs> you sometimes you just. I don't think we're there yet. No, sometimes you just have to just bend over and spread. Well. As you saw, we came up with a plan. We're going to try a KOA. Well, actually first, we're going to drive to this town. I don't know if it's actually called West Glacier or what, but there's a town. And then we're going to go get some gas. And then we're going to go either go to the bar and try and find somewhere to sleep that way. Or we're going to go to the KOA uh, and then see if they will just... Yeah, we're, we're assuming it's full because it's the 4th of July weekend. But um, we're going to see if they will just find somewhere we can just put a tent up for the night. You know, we're not asking much. We had that campground secured, kind of screwed it because I don't know if I told you guys even. I'm pretty sure I did. When we left, uh, there was someone that took it. But we were worried about these two guys in front of me because <laughs> we actually thought that they got hurt because they were gone for a long time. Uh, turns out they're uh, drinking beer at the bar and uh, shotgun and beers uh, over by the river. So, okay, we're gonna check out this KOA. Ooh, see if we don't have any luck. Uh, like I said, we're assuming they're full, but a good sob story. All six of us, face to face in person. How can they say no? We called around, I found a spot two miles down the road on a lake group tent site so we'll see how she turns out oh live music they have kayak canoe rentals everything you could want for the lake too <laughs> no better place in west glacier all right ladies and gentlemen that's what she said no better place. a guaranteed 
Ladies and gentlemen, for your engine. Oh yeah, you already you got a reservation and stuff. Yeah. No, we called. She we have a group site, and she said we can come check it out. Oh, but I, I told her that we're gonna probably get it. So. Oh right on. Talk to Lindsay. Probably whoever's working the front. Yeah. Okay, so this is what you guys should do. Could, could you do this for me, please? You see these rocks over here? Yes. Just kind of go, go over there by the lake five, and then just go inside and talk to her and Dan, and they'll like give you the guidance to where you're supposed to go. Okay. Seem kind of like a like a hippie village. That fucker had a Sloan look, is what he had. <laughs> Dude, I think I'm like... setting my lines up tonight. Well, we've had some amazing weather for far too long. Uh, if you can tell. We got rain. Okay, good morning, good riddance, everyone. Uh, we're getting going first thing in the morning. We skip showering, I don't know why. We skip laundry, I don't know why. Um, it's raining, it's the only reason I can think of. But uh, no one's really told me what's going on today. So I'm just kind of riding. So we just got breakfast at that uh, cafe we were just at. Had some biscuits and gravy and a short stack of huckleberry pancakes, which um, huckleberries are a big thing in Montana, apparently. Had no idea. Everywhere we've been, it's huckleberry beer, huckleberry wine, huckleberry, huckleberry, huckleberry. Huckleberry. Anyways, uh, we talked about what we're doing today with these guys, and we have an eight-hour ride, I guess. Which I didn't know that. I thought we were, as of now, we were just like, you know, going whatever, doing whatever. And so I guess we're gonna do 800, 800, 400 miles, and an eight-hour ride. Anyways, we're leaving West Glacier. I think we're heading towards Idaho, I think. Apparently, we've just entered Lolo Pass and we're gonna take this uh, for a hundred miles. So a Lolo Pass is a road that is a twisty road through the mountainside that there is no turn off for a hundred miles. So it's a legendary motorcycle road apparently. I've never heard of it, but I'm also not a huge uh, motorcyclist my whole life. So I don't know these roads. I have done Needles Highway before. Holy lightning over there. And we're about to do this road in the rain, I think. Cause that looks like a storm of brewing. I'm just gonna take it easy. Tony, he's gonna be crazy. Cam, he's gonna be crazy. John, I have no idea what he's gonna do. Uh, he's also on a tall bike, like this one. So, uh, I'm just gonna take it as easy as I feel. It hurts so bad. Again. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Is he saying slow down? 
Well, I'm wondering if there's like a tree down maybe or something. Man, they got that out quick. <laughs> Well, it depends what side of the Continental Divide you're on. The rivers flow the opposite way. Yeah, we're west of the Rockies now, right? So yeah, we're, we're on the other side of the Continental Divide. Moose crossing. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, gotta the get sign. the sign out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take one of you guys now as well here. Okay. Hey, you're gonna have to put it back in now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fucking perfect. I hit this rock with my fucking engine and I thought I got stuck. Over there, that whole fucking gravel road is this shit. Yeah, it's all boy? Who's got the knife? We're eating medicine tonight, boys. Looks like it was pregnant or something. It's what if a fucking just spawn just comes out of there right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, Never thought I'd make it to Idaho. Pacific time zone. Something happened? Do you know when they turned off or anything? No. Um, a while back, Tony was playing with his phone, so he just flagged me around, me and Jeremy around. So we were going. I didn't see Tony for a while. Then when we went around that sharp 90, I didn't see Jeremy after that. Let's run back up. That one, that one worries me a little bit. Got some folks missing. Truck. There they are. We're good. Whew. That's always scary. Uh, anytime that happens. Uh, what scared me the most was this car came around this blind spot while I was filming, so if you saw it. <laughs> Yeah, and my heart was racing there. Da, na, 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 na. 
they got that song stuck in my head. Tony, <laughs> Tony said his go-to uh, karaoke song is Share If You Could Turn Back Time. Oh man, these guys were singing it. It was hilarious. If you could turn back time. That's stuck in my head though. We must be getting close because we're going slow. This is it. It's like a public camping spot. I <laughs> went the wrong way. Dead end. <laughs> this state is something else. Oh my god. Oh man, I forgot we're not in Montana, we're in Idaho. Silly me. Here's the end of it. Fee area. This is it. Home sweet home. There's a private beach down here, dude. Really? Yeah, we have our own beach. So you already paid for this or something? No. Oh. Huh. So we just got lucky to get it? Yeah, 100%. That is awesome. That 40 mile dead end trail. Yeah. There's a huge gamble for us to run down here. That is amazing. Yeah.